Hey, great diggers. Welcome to America. So I purchased the vinyl deluxe um, Welcome to America from the estate and as always it takes a very long time to get here I took off the plastic uh, Because last time I don't know if y'all remember I used an exacto knife one time. I don't know why I did that, but uh, I uh, Scratched my LP. So this is welcome to America and it has this um card in it that tells us what is in the package and then it says so on the height sticker as well what is in here is uh the previously unreleased album on cd two um lps a blu-ray of a complete live concert a 12 by 12 32 page companion book with never seen never for before seen um photos with liner notes um, and an art print poster so let's open it up this is not this is my first time opening it uh, I can see on the back there is uh, the picture of a very good looking stylish prince and here he is on the front with his guitar so let's open this up um, and on the inside there is a picture of Prince and then there's some writing over on the side. I don't know what it says. Uh, oh, self-interest is on the back burner for now. So there's a, a long quote from Prince and I'm not going to um, read the whole thing, but I will show you what's ugh, on the inside of this. So let me see. So the first thing in here are concert tickets. Oh, that is a nice touch. I like that. So there's concert tickets in here. Um, 21 Night Stand that was at the Forum. Gosh, I'm so uh, upset that I missed that because I'm so close to LA. I could have just, you know, it was a hop, skip, and a jump. I could have got there very easily. What is this? More than this, there is nothing. This looks like the set list of the concert. And I like the way it's all folded up. It's almost like um, it's a secret. Like you, you're the only person who has this set list. That is nice. And then, oh, here's a backstage pass. That's cool. Um, this is also backstage pass and I guess it's like a advertisement of the concert. Oh my goodness, there's a lot of stuff in here. Um, another all access uh, backstage pass with different pictures. Um, Welcome to America Live. And this is um, a VIP pass. Uh oh, look, I'm a VIP. Okay, what else? Then there's this little card. Uh, this is the um, digital download, which I have already listened to the album digitally, and I love it. I mean, I have found as long as I've been a Prince man and been in communities listening to what people say, almost everybody says, I don't like it. And then they listen to it for a year and then they say, I love it. This is the best album ever. So this is the poster. It And it will grow on you. Uh, Prince music will grow on you. But this album is one that I actually liked at first listen. Oh, this is really good. This is really nice. I probably am going to frame this and put this up. It's 12 by 12, I think. I'm just saying that in my mind so I know what, what size frame to get. Oh, wow. Yeah. It's actually big. It might be a 13. Okay. Ugh. Putting all this stuff back is going to be a chore. 
and it will have to be a chore that I will get to at another time. Let's just put this stuff down. Let's see what's on the other side. Um, oh, there's the booklet. Okay. Woo! It's big. Welcome to America booklet. Um, oh, he looks so good, too. So there's lots of pictures and stuff in the booklet. I'm not going to be able to show all of it to you. Um, let me see. What do I want to? Oh, this is nice. This is really good. So you can see that. Yeah. So it's got uh, several pictures of him. Oh, my goodness. I'm going to try to put this back. Ugh. I got to reach. Okay. So I'm thinking in the middle, this is going to be the LPs. And it is. And I believe it's on black vinyl. Let's see. Yes, it's on black vinyl. Plain old black vinyl, and uh, the inside has a very nice picture of Prince in there, so that's nice. So we'll put that back in. This is exciting. This is a really good set. I love it. I love it so far. I'm just, oh, ooh, baby. I think this is the Prince that I fell in love with. This is the one that my husband would make concessions for. Does he not look like super duper handsome or what? Baby, he cut that that he got that hat cocked to the side. Mm. And it says on here LP2. Uh oh. If that says LP2, where's LP1? Oh. Okay, so LP1 is here, LP2 is here. Is there anything else? No. Okay, so then. Ugh. This last fold has the DVD and the CD in there in a the pocket, and it's really kind of cool the way they did it. So this is this is the CD. I'm gonna stick that back in there for a minute. This kind of looks like lotus flower, um, and this is the DVD. So I I hope I'm not missing anything else. No, I don't think so wow I really like this package I feel like Christmas like I got a lot in this um I can't even remember how much I uh, paid for it but you can definitely look that up with the deluxe two um the deluxe two LP set is uh this is the full set and I'm very pleased with it and I am my uh my Turntable has been on back order, and as I understand it, it will be coming soon. So I will do the unboxing of my new Audio Technica uh, turntable. And perhaps I probably will play this because I actually, I really do like the songs that are on here. Um, Born to Die, which they are calling an homage to um, Curtis Mayfield. <laughs> almost escaped me there. Uh, Curtis Mayfield, it does have a, a 70s soul kind of Curtis May Mayfield feel to it. And I love uh, the song, uh, Stand Up and Be Strong. It kind of, Stand Up and Be Strong kind of reminds me of uh, Still Would Stand All Time uh, because it has a little bit of a gospel feel. It's a kind of preachy song to it. Um, so I like that uh, same page, different book is a great song. When she comes, very romantic song. Uh, makes you feel some kind of way. Um, the Tin Tin Ren Tin Tin uh, is one of those songs where you have to listen to the lyrics and really try to pay attention to what he's trying to say in it. Um, one day we will all be free. So a, a lot of this album has some political edge to it. And in that way, it kind of reminds me of the Rainbow Children because the Rainbow Children is a very religious, heavy uh, and political heavy um, album um, in its theme in totality, which is why the Rainbow Children is a album that is very divisive 
in the Prince community. Most people either love it or hate it. I love the Rainbow Sharon. As a matter of fact, I would put it in my top three Prince albums. I love the Rainbow Children. And I feel like this album is heavily themed uh, with political things um, and mostly looking at, at the world and how people view um, themselves. So this um, really opens us up to what Prince was uh, thinking and um, how he felt about things during that time. So the Blu-ray, I have seen bits and pieces of it throughout the years. Um, you know what, now I'm looking at the set list. I think I've seen the whole thing in its entirety without having cracked open this uh, CD. I mean, this DVD to look at it. Um, and I love Prince performances anyway. Um, that is my favorite thing to listen to is Prince performances and Prince instrumentals. I love instrumentals. So having said that, there is Welcome to America. So Welcome to America, y'all. Um, if you have the album or if you have listened to the album, I would love to know what you think about it, considering uh, that it is a very um, political, heavy type of, of, um, of theme. Uh, I know a lot of people, when they listen to Prince, they want to hear um, dance music, sex, and romance. They do not want to hear his political uh, views about peace on earth and goodwill to men. Um, and then there are those of us who love the totality of Prince's music and um, his expression of who he was and how he saw the world, as well as uh, all of the fun that can be involved in Prince music. Just curious what you guys think about that. Um, and in the meantime, I'm going to be waiting for my new turntable and we will see how well it plays these new records almost any turntable i have found will play old records great but what about these new records that have uh that are slippy slidey will i need a uh one of those um weights we shall see until then i'm akila sunrise and this is vinyl jeopardy these are my records <laughs>